Timothy's Big Day, adapted and told by Jeline Leonard, based on the original story from the Disney Classic Storybook Collection by Disney Press, Tony Pilot's Casey Jr. and Friends, and the Milan Toon Channel's The Railways of Crotunia. Timothy Kumaus looked out over the edge of Dumbo's hat and grinned. Below him, the crowd cheered for the flying elephant. Timothy loves the circus. There is no place in the world he'd rather be. Later that night, Timothy watched the crew pack up the WDP circus and Casey Jr. being surfaced by his engineers, Landon and Emery Elizabeth, as they prepare to leave Selgreb City. It was time to move on to the next town, but first the ringmaster had to pass out letters and packages to the performers. Unseen by the ringmaster, a tiny envelope fell out of his pile. Timothy scurried over to the fallen letter. The mouse turned the envelope over to see who it was for, then gasped. It was for him. Timothy couldn't believe it. His family was coming to see him. He hadn't spoken to them since he'd left home to join the WDP circus. To his parents, life on the farm is perfect. They couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Timothy hurried over to Dumbo's stall, where Dumbo was having a snack of peanuts. Oh boy! Look at this, will ya? Timothy shouted, waving around the letter. My parents are coming to see you perform, Dumbo. They never liked the circus. But seeing our show will change that. After all, who wouldn't love a flying elephant? Does that sound exciting, Dumbo? Asked Mrs. Jumbo, who grinned. Dumbo nodded. Presently, Casey Jr. was serviced, the circus was packed up, and the ringmaster shouted, All aboard! Are you ready? I'm ready when you are, Casey called. Let's roll! And off went Casey Jr. and the WDP Circus Train, leaving Selgreb City. Come along, come along, called Casey. We're coming along, we're coming along, chimed the circus cars and coaches. As the circus traveled to his hometown, and Dumbo and Jum Mrs. Jumbo were fast asleep, Timothy grew more and more excited about seeing his family. But Timothy was nervous too. What if his parents didn't think... He'd done a good job with Dumbo after all. He wanted them to be proud of him, and that he meant he had to show them how great circus life is. After he read the letter, he then changed into his pajamas and nightcap, crawled into his bed, and went to sleep. <clears throat> the next morning, Casey Jr. and the circus train pulled into the station, then Landon and Emery Elizabeth climbed down, uncoupled Casey from the cars and coaches, rolled him onto a siding out of the way, checked him all over thoroughly, and filled his tender with coal and water. <sighs> Much better, sighed Casey with relief as water cascaded into his tender. Meanwhile, after so long away, Timothy felt strange to know that he was home again. He wondered if he would see his family in the crowd, but there were too many people. It if mice had come, there was no way he'd be able to find them. Finally, the animals arrived at the site. Timothy watched as the circus hands got to work setting up the big top. No matter how many times he saw it, watching the tent go up never got any less exciting. Just wait till until my family gets a load of this, Timothy said to Dumbo. The lights, the noise, and you, Dumbo. I can't wait for them to see your act. But at that moment, Dumbo let out a great big sneeze. Dumbo sneezed again and again. Mrs. Jumbo heard this and rushed over to tend to him. Oh no, the ringmaster said, hurrying over to look at the little elephant. This is no good. You can't go on with a cold, and we can't go on without you. The ringmaster turned to the circus hands. Sorry, lads, this fellow needs a re his rest. Today's show will have to wait. Mrs. Jumbo hoped her poor son would recover. Timothy looked over Dumbo. The ringmaster was right. The little, the little elephant did not look good after, at all. It's me and your mother's job to take care of you, Dumbo, 
Timothy said with determination. Let's find you somewhere comfortable to lie down. Mrs. Jumbo was worried about this. She and Timothy led Dumbo to a cozy pile of hay and went to get a steaming bowl of peanut soup. Then Timothy and Mrs. Jumbo started to give Dumbo a warm bath, but Dumbo sneezed again. Next, the mouse found the warmest blanket he could and draped it over Dumbo, but it was no use. The elephant just kept sneezing. Well, the least I can do is make sure you get some peace and quiet so you can rest, Timothy said, moving to the front of the tent. He felt bad for Dumbo. It was no fun to be sick, but he felt bad for himself too. This was supposed to be his chance to make his parents proud of him. Mrs. Jumbo, on the other hand, although feeling bad for her son too, tried to comfort Timothy as best as she could. Timothy was feeling sorry for himself while Mrs. Jumbo was trying to comfort him for a few hours, a few hours later when they heard a familiar voice. Timothy, dear, we have been looking for you everywhere. Timothy turned to see his mother, his father, his brothers, and sisters standing in front of him. Mrs. Jumbo turned, too, and was surprised by the sight she had ever seen in her life. Mother! Father! Perry! Louie! Nia! Emily! You're here! The, the little his head. I'm afraid Dumbo has a cold, so he can't go on tonight. I'm sorry you wasted your time coming. Wasted her time? Timothy's father asked. We came to the circus to see you. We're not big city travelers, but we're certainly not going to miss a chance to see our son. You don't think I made a mistake joining the circus? Timothy asked. There's no such thing as a mistake as long as you're doing what you love, his mother said. At that moment, the flaps from Dumbo's tent rustled, and the little elephant stepped through, looking like he felt much better. Mrs. Jumbo was surprised but amazed at the same time. Dumbo, pal, Timothy said. May I introduce you to the family? This is my mother, father, my brothers Perry and Louie, and my sisters Emily and Nia. Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo were very pleased to see them. Just then, all of a sudden, a sound of crowing came from above the sky. It was Dumbo and Timothy's old friends, the five crows. Well, 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 said the lead crow. Looks like Reverend Ronan's got a family that he hadn't seen in years. If you'll excuse me, Timothy said to everyone, I'd better let the ringmaster know that Dumbo is feeling better. Then he turned to his parents. Wait here, you two. I have something I'd like to show you. That night, Timothy sat in his usual spot in Dumbo's hat with his parents next to him. Cheers filled the room as the elephant soared through the air. All those happy faces... Are... All those happy faces are pretty special, Timothy's father said. Maybe I'm starting to understand this circus thing after all. Timothy's mother nodded. Tell me, she said. Can this elephant go any faster? After the show was over and the crows left, Dumbo, Mrs. Jumbo, Timothy, and his family gathered around. Timothy was sad to see his family leave. I'll be sad to miss ya, he said sadly. Don't worry, don't worry, Timothy, his father said. I'm sure we'll meet again. Or, his mother barged in, we could move in here with you and your friends, she suggested. Timothy pondered and then agreed. That sounds like a good idea, he said. Then it's official, Timothy's father replied. Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo beamed with a smile on their faces. The end.